Hi, this is Martha of Arrows Coaching. I'm a clinical sexologist based in Singapore. And um, you can find me at Arrows Coaching, E-R-O-S Coaching.com. I interviewed Frank Mondoze last Friday on my weekly radio show, Arrows Evolution. And I loved him, love him, still love him. And <laughs> I loved our episode and I was really struck by the last five minutes of our episode. And he had such an important message that I really felt compelled to do this Zoom interview with him. And um, Frank Mondoze is well known to be the spiritual playboy. And not playboy like playboy, but play with life. And uh, he's sexy, he's sexual. And you can find him at sexualrenaissance.com. So welcome, Frank. So tell us, what message do you have for the world? <laughs> You're awesome, Martha. So yeah, we, in this moment right now, we have to see what's going on. And we are currently in the full moon, the full moon of cancer. And part of this seeding of the sexual renaissance is about understanding the old. And in the old times, they used to follow the uh, pace of the moon and how it affected our lives. So right now we're in a place where uh, a lot of emotion, cancer is a watery and uh, emotion. So what's being called to us right now is like what Kate Rose from Elephant Journal said, it's time to resist the urge to fight and just surrender to yourself and your heart. Surrender to love and the ability to believe that you deserve the exact kind of love that you're trying to give away to others. So this is what's going on on this full moon. And that is sometimes difficult because um, what makes that challenging is fear. And fear is constantly being vibrated around us uh, through whatever story rhetoric that it is in the media and Hollywood or whatnot. So we have a lot of fear around us. Our lives are maybe a bit insecure, whether it be financially, in our romantic relationships. So this is what's challenging us. And last month, last full moon, um, was an energy of anger. Anger was playing out. So in this month, we had, we had the Mercury retrograde. We had time to go into the underworld. And probably a lot of us experienced some sort of uh, crisis uh, or chaos in our life. So it, what's also happening is there's basically a grand cross in the astrals where the moon and the sun are opposite each other and Jupiter and Uranus are opposite each other. So it's almost like um, there is a revolution happening in the, in the air. So that revolution is collective, meaning what's going on in society, as well as what's going on in our personal lives, specifically our hearts. So sometimes that could feel like a breakdown and uh, there is nothing in front of us and we could get lost in despair. So the, re the invitation is really to go into the heart and go into self-acceptance and self-love, understand that the shadow is manifesting and we're coming into a time where we have to um, embrace the shadow, welcome the shadow and uh, explore the shadow because it's in the shadow where we will uh, learn um, those golden pieces, those diamonds about ourselves, that if we face and overcome, that we will be that much more powerful manifestors in the world. So basically, what I want to be sharing with people is this idea that when we enter into a place of crisis or a revolution, it's basically an opportunity. And we have it's a call into sacred initiation. So I want everybody to realize that every challenge that we're going through, the more difficult, the bigger the opportunity. It's an opportunity to renew oneself and enter into the world a much stronger version or the version you want to be, the version you imagine yourself to be, but that has just not manifested. And this looks like step one, taking the time to do introspection understanding yourself, 
understand, acknowledging what is sensitive, what is vulnerable for yourself, uh, where the wounds are. And when you start to see this, accept that all this is part of your story. And this story is what is helping you go through this hero's journey from regular person to awakened uh, shaman, if we will. It's the opportunity where we could step into that much power that we could work on the subtle realms to create our reality. And it's through the acceptance of self and the ability to communicate our desires our fears and our boundaries in every moment and every crossroads, honoring yourself, honoring yourself and allowing other peoples to honor you by giving them the information that is important for them to have a co-creative relationship with yourself. So it's when that we come to that place where we believe there's no answer for us, where our desires, where, where everything we uh, invested, our happiness is, is at the forefront of cr crumbling and disappearing. And it's that moment where we uh, <laughs> fall to our knees and we say, God, just help me on this one. Give me the vision. Give me, give me the, the strength. Give me the courage to uh, overcome this. In that moment, that is the moment where you invite the sacred to enter into your life. And when you invite the sacred to enter into your life and you offer yourself as a vehicle for transformation of yourself and for the planet, it's at that point where your path opens up and you get revelation, you get information uh, about what you have to um, do in your life and most of the time it's something bigger than self it's something bigger than the ego we are all waiting for each one of us to stand up in our power we are waiting for each of us to stand up in our sovereignty and hold each other's hands and take on the world and build the world that we want to create for tomorrow so on that note i want to wish everybody love courage the courage to break through the fear and find a love and a light again. And join me and Martha as we have a discussion around what is the sexual renaissance and what are the emerging traits. So come and get these tidbits of information so that you could bring it into your, uh, your life and change the world around us. Thank you so much for listening. Let love free. Thank you so much, Frank. So as Frank is encouraging all of us, to acknowledge and accept the changes that are happening to open up our hearts so that we can be a channel for all the changes for positivity to come into our lives and into the world so i love this message and if you love this message of encouragement that he's just shared with us be sure just like he said to tune in listen to our episode uh, last friday that was recorded where he was talking about sexual renaissance if you're interested to find out more about it, then be sure to check it out. And of course, go to his website, sexualrenaissance.com. So this has been Martha with Frank Mondoze. And uh, thank you for watching this.